Hi, this is Alex from AP Commerce, and today I will walk through how to create workflow in Dynamics Nav. So with workflow, the first thing we need to set up is make sure you have users set up in Nav. So in this company, I have three users set up, uh, myself and two additional users. I will go to the workflow and uh, create new for, uh, workflow or create existing workflow from templates. In this case, I'm going to create one from a template, expand the sales and marketing, and create a workflow based on query limit, query limit change. After I create it, um, I could choose to add additional steps or modify existing steps. So in this response, I need to click on the assist edit and change the approver type to have it be on the approver and the approval limit type I'm going to set as a direct approver. If you set up the approval type as approver you need to open up the user setup and in the approval user setup I can choose to uh, define hierarchies on how I want the approval to flow so in this case, when I create an approval process, the user test, which is this guy, is going to be approving for me. And each of these uh, uh, users that are set up, will you could tag on an email so they can do approval um, via email. So I'm going to click OK. Leave all the other ones intact and click on Enable. So if I go to my customer, open up a customer card. Now I change my credit limit to 300. When I click on OK to get out of the screen, a message will come up. I'm going to click OK. Now if I go back to this customer, you'll see that the credit limit has not been changed and it needs to be approved. So uh, if I log in as a test user, and this is defined per user, I'll see that uh, for customer 10,000, the credit limit has been changed from 0 to 300, and I'm asked to approve. So if I'm, I'm going to go ahead and approve. Now if I go back to my customer card, you'll see that the credit limit has been changed. 